Good morning, everyone. I have done the office. Very, very chaotic day. There are grapes all over the floor. Somebody was dropping their grapes on the way from the cafeteria to their classrooms because they can go and get breakfast. But yeah, lots of other stuff going on that I can't talk about, but they're keeping us on our toes. And Sebastian has Lucky Duck Day. This year his teacher, instead of like divvying out the class jobs, every kid gets one day where they do the jobs and they also get like seat choice. So when they're having reading time, they get this special chair and stuff. So he's so excited. He had it once at the beginning of the year and they've been scrolling through everybody again, but it's been a long time. So he was so excited to bring the attendance folder to me. And yeah, they let me, well, let me, I can leave whenever, <laughs> but they were like, you should go early since you're coming back <laughs> really soon. And I was like, okay, I came back, I ate the, bagel that's the word i want the bagel that i pulled out from the freezer last night for myself to get some food in me and i had some coding stuff come through late last night i was already in bed when i saw it no i emailed them but the code came late last night when i was in bed so i was like i have between 8 30 and and 9 30 to do this so she sent it and i I did it around 8.20, so we got the, the doggy and kitty cat listings fixed, so that's perfect. And then I was starting to erase these. I was going to use my iPad, but there's some sort of a bug when I like use it as another monitor now that Apple Pencil won't line up. So it was like erasing over here when I was trying to erase here. So I'm just going to use my fingers like I'm used to. I can even use my left hand because when I had little nursing babies that only wanted to be on the right side, I would do 100% of my work with my left hand. So I will finish that later. I said I could start around 1.30 or 2, though I will have to pause when it's homework time. Not a big deal. Client was happy with that because he knows he will get his label by COB if I start it then. And I just got an email from HR, I guess I should say. I think she said an HR or something, something analyst. And it was just like instructions for tomorrow. I have to like text from the parking lot of the administration building. Yay, I finally know what to call it. I keep calling it the headquarters, which made it sound like some super villain's lair. And I'm like, this doesn't sound right every single time. Administration building, that was it. I should have remembered that from like college days because I think they use that. But yeah, so when I was at the school, we had to have like all the doors locked to the office. Sometimes we have to do that. Usually we try to leave it open because you need a badge to get in and out. And there's so many people coming and going. So I was like, well, will, that, will I get a badge when, when I'm onboarded? And she was like, no, because you'll be a substitute. And I know that's the case if you're hired as a substitute. But I'm being hired officially as a cafeteria monitor, not as a substitute. It's just up to the principal's discretion what hours I'm going to have. And she is technically hiring me as a substitute. I will only have the hours that they need covered, which is fine. And there's little bits of yarn everywhere. And I feel like I should get a batch. Like they wouldn't, they're not hiring me as a substitute cafeteria monitor because that doesn't exist. So that's something to either ask or just figure out tomorrow. 
and yeah last night if you watched the video i was like ah oh, i don't know what to do with my time before bed because i need to do all the things i did curl my hair but i did all the things <laughs> first i left sebastian's room a little bit earlier than i would he did toss and turn and i don't think he slept very well usually i wait till he's super super asleep and i don't know if that's the reason why he came to our room at 1 a.m and slept with us all night or if it's just because he's fighting off a cold but first thing i did was build my plant shelf Yay. right now i have the kit in progress here and not too many plants but i will have more plants i have this basket just here until I slowly go through it. I don't know what's gonna go on with that. Don't have time, but I did that. And then I finished a, another square. I've got quite a few of these. Hopefully I can do more this afternoon. And then I curled my hair. And I feel like I need to redo some, when I put my hair up like this, I don't have enough blonde on the side. I don't know if I just went up one row too high and there's some that I have like calyx up here so the braids slip out faster. They could use some adjusting so maybe tonight if I'm not freezing and can convince myself to not have a bath. I could work on this a little bit but I could also wear my hair down tomorrow if I pull it around the side. I feel like it looks okay. It's like if you're somebody with long hair and your hair is kind of thin and you pull it all to the front and it looks great, but then it's like the back. Do you care about the back? The back look is extra weird because of all the braids and the partings. So the only way I can do this is if I have this hanging down blocking it. <laughs> so this is how I usually wear it, but I'd rather have all of it down because it says on the email that I'm getting a photo. I would assume you get a photo whether you get an ID badge or not, but maybe that means an ID badge. So maybe I will leave it loose and pull it around, which I don't mind at all, except that all of the, the clasps of my necklaces, when I do that, they move around, so I'll have to like adjust those, otherwise it'll annoy me if that's in a picture. It's like, I don't know, you don't care, but <laughs> yeah. I, these are all the things going through my head, but I'm gonna stop the work for now because I'm going to leave the house <laughs> 15 minutes, maybe a tiny bit less. So I'm gonna sit for like 10 minutes and work on this square. I've almost got this sweater unraveled. If you want to destroy my sweater. <laughs> And then, yeah, then I'll have a few minutes to, I'll put some ice in my leftover tea. I've got to have a drink to make it through that. And I saw a printout of, like they have little signs with photos of staff members. And I saw the one that they made for the new cafeteria monitor and I recognize her as a parent. So that's awesome. So I'll meet her because I'm covering for somebody else. I'm gonna go before I don't have any time. Many hours later. Hello everyone, I just had a wonderful hot shower. So shiny and bedraggled, but happy. Anyway, oh, it was a productive long day. <clears throat> you know a lot of it. Let's not rehash. I believe you saw me working at some point. Was it before I went to the school? I feel like I talked to you after the school, but I made lunch immediately and I worked on that label while eating. No, I didn't. I sat down in my chair for 20 minutes and ate, and that was amazing because when you walk around one room for three hours straight, like you don't stop. There's maybe a three times that I paused to like take my gloves off, put some lip balm on, and then put fresh gloves on. That's the most I stopped. So 
My legs were tired. They were tired. It's a hard ground. But yeah, then I sat and did my label. I finished it right as the bus was coming down the street. So that was perfect. And since I had gotten a call during lunch that my Hot Topic order was ready, It is cold going around our house. You can come over, but I want the mask on if you're going to be close. I don't know why this mask smells like berries, but it does. <laughs> I think it was close to the air freshener. But I decided I was just going to go immediately after homework to go pick it up. But Sebastian wanted to come, so we went and did homework at the mall. <coughs> Picked up my package and headed home and I finally had time to work on squares. I worked on them till dinner, we got takeaway and while we were eating, I was weaving an end. So all of those have the ends woven in. I believe that's 10 squares. So that's awesome. But they either need to make some more in like matching yarn that they have at the library or I'll need to make more. I don't have that much yarn left, but I could probably make like maybe two or three more. I've got a lot of little balls. I have to tie things together. The dress I got, I got an extra small. I love the fabric and it was 50% off plus I had a $15 coupon. So totally worth it, but it was, it's so big. It's so big. So I'm going to wear it as a skirt with a sweater over it tomorrow. Is it done? No, but I need to alter it before the summer to where the top is just like, I don't know how that's an extra small. It fits like I, I got a large, it's so big and it's stretchy fabric. So you would think it'd be fitted, but yeah, but I, I still love it, it's still worth it. And I'll be pretty as a skirt tomorrow. So also before dinner, I, I took all the IEP stuff out of here and that's in a folder now because I'm not doing active meetings. I'll put most recent stuff into this next time we have a IEP check-in, which I, I believe is, well, it's going to be the very end of the year now. It was in February, but since we renewed, it's going to be the end of the year. So I'll do that. But I was putting in the documents I need for identification tomorrow and I have my TB screen in there. What do you need, Sebastian? I'm talking. I want to see how it Okay. But yeah, that's that's what I've gotten up to do th today. I did have to rush home from the mall to get the final label sent. The band hasn't gotten back about approval, but the brewery owner wanted to have it because he thought it was good enough. And he wanted to get it into the print queue. He can always like get the proof and then resubmit changes. So we might be done with that. I don't know. I need to put my time in for it. Anyway, Sebastian wants to speak. Hi. Hi. Up. Sorry, I was talking to the dog. He was wiping his boogies on my ottoman. What did you want to say? Hi. Speaking of boogies, before you go to bed, I want you to blow your nose. Because <laughs> I see something. Yeah, Sebastian has had some snot and coughing for a few days. So I've been really good about my mask at bedtime. Sometimes I take it off after he's asleep because it's like hard to breathe. But I've been keeping it on. And when you came to bed, I put it on. It was really hard to sleep through. So I tried to stay facing away. And at times it was just kind of like <laughs> a shield. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I need to grab a new one. I just grabbed this. That's well, not going to work. I really want to broke it. I know. That's fine. I didn't do the strap test. I was supposed to do the strap test because you can weed out these ones that break. It's usually only like one in 50 for me. Anyway, I brought a cloth mask up to the bed because now Danny's feeling a sore throat. And I am about to get my period, which makes my immune system disappear. So I don't want to get sick. I've got a lot going on. So I'm going to maybe mask, 
while I sleep. I can usually do the cloth mask, but it comes off. I wake up with it off, so that's hard. I might just have to face away the whole night, which I don't love. It's uncomfortable. All right, I'm going to go and get a new mask. Can you stop that? That's really irritating. That's kind of gross, too, for you to have your mouth hanging open, spewing your germs out. Anyway, good night, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget, I'm going to touch it. You just say it. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.